Hey guys, Todd Anderson here with another Magic Online video for you. Today we're going to be running through a league with Esper Dragons. So, uh, this deck has been around for a while, ever since the release of Dragons of Tarkir. We got uh, Salumgar Scorn alongside a bunch of powerful dragons, including the Dragon Lords, which we'll be playing six of today. Uh, dragon Lord Ojatai, I think, is the clear front runner for best dragon in a control deck. Being able to get card advantage is awesome, and the fact that it has Hexproof while it's untapped means it's going to be pretty hard for them to kill it. Uh, usually you'll get a swing in, and hopefully you can find something like Salumgar Scorn to protect it, uh, or even Duress to take the removal spell before you actually attack with it. I've played a lot against and with Esper Dragons in the past, but uh, one thing that really rang true was that I don't think I've ever won a game where my opponent connected with a Dragonlord Ojutai, and I don't think I've lost... Uh, when I connect with a Dragon Lord Ojutai, it's pretty tough. You get that extra card advantage, it's a pretty huge chunk of life, and the extra card lets you usually, you know, find another way to protect it, which is basically just like this running uh, chain of events that's really hard to disrupt once it gets going. Uh, the rest of the deck hasn't changed too much. Uh, the addition of Jace Vrin's Prodigy, uh, push the deck a little further in the uh, the realm of, you know, cheap threats that gain you some card advantage, and if this deck's able to flip Jace, it's usually a, uh, a very good thing, you know. Um, it's pretty hard to kill once you flip it, if you flip it early. Being able to plus and shrink their creatures is awesome, but also just being able to minus and kill something is also pretty great. Shuhei opted for Silkwrap as his 2-drop removal spell, which honestly I'm not a huge fan of, but I don't think it's bad. I think that the card does a lot of what you need to do for 2 mana. I mean, you're able to take care of uh, things like Anafenza, uh, Hangerback Walker, you know, a number of other really annoying small creatures, and sometimes Ultimate Price or something similar won't be able to do that for you, and I think that Silkwrap is a pretty good card for that slot, it just makes it a little awkward alongside Jace Friend's Prodigy, since it doesn't actually go to the graveyard. Uh, it also sticks around, so your opponent can use Dromokos Command to get their guy back, which could also be bad, but generally speaking, you know, you just need something to help buy you time, and even if they get their guy back, if uh, you were able to keep it out of play for a few turns, you know, it, it did its job. <clears throat> Uh, the rest of the deck, we have Foul Tug Invocation, both as a means of gaining life, as well as killing creatures. It's not great against Hangerback Walker, but, uh, you know, there aren't a lot of things that are great against Hangerback Walker, to be completely honest. Uh, we have One Scatter of the Winds as our fifth counter spell alongside Slumgar Scorn. Uh, one Painful Truce as an extra card advantage spell that we can either find with Dig Through Time, or just kind of acts like a pseudo treasure cruise without, um, you know, toying with the graveyard resource for Delve. Uh, we have one Ruinous Path to go along with the uh, three Silk Wrap and three Foul Tongue Invocation. Uh, two Utter End as a generic good removal spell that can also deal with Planeswalkers. One Omnixilis uh, as a card advantage engine slash removal uh, spell. It's very, very powerful in the late game if you're able to play it on a, a dry board or just a board with one creature that you can take down and kill. Two Crux of Fate to sweep up uh, anything that, you know, we can't actually deal with with, uh, with our spot removal. Uh, it's also great alongside uh, an Ojutai that's in play just as a way to, um, you know, kill their board without killing yours. It's it's pretty nice. And then uh, two Dragonlord Slumgar, it's great against Gideon, helps out a lot there. But uh, also, you know, it's just another dragon and it's probably the best one for the spot. I've seen some people play the other Slumgar, the Drifting Death, and it's pretty good, but I don't think it's, it's quite good enough right now. There aren't enough X1 type creatures running around for the ability to really matter. And I think the uh, control magic effect of Slumgar is, is great. Uh, being able to steal something like Ugin or their Gideon is just too powerful. The sideboard I think is actually pretty interesting. We have uh, three copies of Monster Mentor, which I think is a great alternate sideboard plan against decks that... Uh, we just need to put pressure on them, like the uh, the ramp decks or things like that. Basically, if we're able to stick an early Monster and Mentor and keep them off of uh, an early Ugin via Duress or uh, Slumgar Scorn or something like that, it's going to push us really far ahead and it's going to be really tough for them to beat. Um, alternatively, uh, Mentor can be good against decks that don't have a lot of removal or just decks where you think they're going to side out a lot of the removal because you don't have that many targets. 
and can kind of just bury them in, in these 1-1 one, one, uh, monk tokens. Uh, to go along with that, we have uh, one Surge of Righteousness, uh, two Ration Cleric to help out against the red aggro decks, a four Silk Wrap to help out against any aggressive deck where we just need to kill something quick, uh, two more Duress against Control and other slow decks, two Disdainful Stroke against uh, Control and other slow decks, a Tassiger, which I actually really, really like in this deck, and uh, honestly, I would like to try to fit one in the main, but uh, we're just going to play Shuhei's List for now. And then two Self-Inflicted Wound for mostly for Abzan and one Ultimate Price, which can come in in a number of matchups to just kill creatures. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the main deck for Esper Dragons. Let's go ahead and get to the first match, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 